How's it going everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here and welcome to my birthday special where I will be opening three Hidden Fates tins. But before we start though, I also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away three birthday Pikachu cards. All you have to do is be subscribed, like the video and comment below your favorite pull out of this opening. Could also be the promos if you'd like, just your favorite pull. Well, anyways, let's get these open. I guess we'll start with the Raichu ones. Let's get these aside. So my birthday special and also the 300 subscriber giveaway, you know, the birthday Pikachu. Thank you for, for 300 subscribers. What a great way to to celebrate the birthday, eh? But anyways, it's actually I've opened a couple of these in the past, but these are always pretty fun to open. Here we have the Raichu promo. Let me just try to get this out. Oh, and a code card. Here's our four booster packs. Nothing more, nothing less, of course. Let's get this aside. Here is the the Raichu promo. Looks pretty cool. I like the, the GX cards. Let me grab a sleeve for, for the Raichu. There we go. And here is, of course, the code card. There you go. Enjoy, enjoy. And here we have our four booster packs. Nice. The Mew one is definitely my favorite artwork. Let me know. Let me know which one of these is your favorite artwork. Definitely like the Mew. Let's start with the birds, which is probably my least favorite. This is gonna be it's gonna be amazing. There is so many great cards in here. Okay, I think for the first one, we'll just open it normally. And then afterwards we'll do the card trick. Because I don't know if it's three or four. It might be four. So here we have a Clefairy Fairy Pokemon. That it's been a long time since they were in the in the game. Paris. Yo, here we go. Our first our first shiny Pokemon, a Drumpa GX. Okay, so it's one. Okay, so it's just four to the front. And then the code card is that way. I'll just show you with the last few cards here. We have Blaine Stand, Energy, Far Fetched, we have a Jinx, and we have Misty's Determination. This is pretty cool. A first booster pack, and we immediately get a a shiny Pokemon. Let let me show you this. These are actually super cool. I I prefer these over the shiny shiny V Pokemon from um, from what call it Shining Fates. I think I think Hidden Fates is just a better set in general. There's just so many cool cards in here that you can potentially pull. Whereas in Shining Fates, I mean, what are you chasing there? You're chasing the Charizard, and then of course maybe the the Skyla, and that's about it. I guess the, the shiny, um, whatchamacallit, the baby shinies or just the, the shiny normal Pokemon like, you know, Suicune, so on and so forth. Ooh, we have a Scyther, let me get close. As close as I can at least. Graveler, Geodude. We have another Jigglypuff. We have a Staryu. Ekans. We have an Eevee, very cool. We have a Reverse. And we have Bill's Analysis. Wasn't really expecting anything there anyways. Since we have already had a pull, but you know, you, you never know. We'll save the Mew one for last. Still have two two more tins to go though. So yeah, I've opened a bunch of these. I think I might have actually opened like seven or something in total. Never pulled anything good. I think the best thing I've pulled... Actually, I don't even remember what's, what the best thing was that I pulled. Definitely wasn't the Charizard. Never pulled that one. Never pulled the, the Cynthia either. So... That would be something to to look forward to if we do get the Cynthia, because that is actually a pretty cool card. Even though I already have the Cynthia, that would be amazing. But yeah, opening some hidden fates. This is this is pretty cool for for my birthday. I like this. Paris, yo, a gold card, Ether Paradise Con Conservation Area, bro, and a Mewtwo GX. Yo, talk about a double pull. That is cool. That is really cool. Yo, that first tin gave us two pulls. Or three pulls, even. With the Mewtwo GX. Yo, this is pretty cool. Nice. Let's see what the Mew pack holds for us. This should be the best pack, eh? This should be... This should be the best pack. This this is gonna have the Charizard. Here, we already have a Charmander. That's how it goes, right? Come on, focus. There you go. Code card, let's do three to the front, reveal the energy. It's an 
some water energy. And here we have Sabrina's suggestion, Misty's determination. We've got a Metapod. We've got a Charmander. We've got a Psyduck fitting for the Misty. We've got another Star Hill also fitting for the Misty. We've got a nice looking Pikachu. And we've got Brock's training, a Hollow. Nice. Okay. Well, that was the first tin. Let me just try to put these onto, onto one pile, I suppose, so we can compare which tin gave us gave us like the best pulls. Let's go with the with the Gyarados one next. We'll save, of course, the Charizard one for last, which in itself is also, to the surprise of no one, the most expensive one. Gyarados, let me see if I can get this out. There we go. Four booster packs. And the rest can go in in here. Just put this right there. Alright, here we have the the Gyarados, if it would focus. There we go. For some reason that took a really long time to focus. Hopefully this time is faster. Yeah, there you go. That's the code. Whoops. That was a mistake. Let's leave up the Gyarados. Here we go. And well, four boosters again. We'll save the Mew one for last. Actually, we'll go with the Mew one first this time. We'll do it in, in a reverse order. We'll go with the Mew one first. This is gonna be this is gonna be the the best the best booster pack. Watch. Here is the code card. There you go. Let's do three. Actually, let's do four to the front. We've had good luck with four to the front. And water energy. Here we have Misty's gym. We have another Sabrina's suggestion. Metapod. We have a Psyduck, very cool. Clefairy, as an actual fairy Pokemon. Ekans, just looking at the rainbow. Voltorb being charged up. Yo, Jigglypuff reverse. And a Golem. And a Golem. Is that by Ken Sugimori? It was. Oh. Kinda, kinda thought I recognized that art style. So which one did we open next then? I think the Charizard, then the Mewtwo, then the birds. Let's do it like this. Alright, that's... That's the one I've put. I think I've pulled the, the Nigelco, Nigello, whatever it's called, GX. And I've also pulled the, the birds, the rainbow version. Which, I think, I'm pretty sure they're still pretty cheap. Unless I'm mixing those up with Shining Fates. But I'm pretty sure the birds are in Hidden Fates. Because otherwise there wouldn't be a, a booster fe uh, being featured, right? Of them. Geodude. Got another Pikachu, very cute. I've got a Clefairy, oh, that looks cute, check this out. This looks super nice. Is this by... by... Oh, it's by Kidus Aki, okay. I kind of thought it was by Soso for a second. But no. Lapras, that also looks pretty cool. And a Charizard GX! Not the Charizard you're wanting from Hidden Fates. But a Charizard nonetheless. This is probably like... Is this the second best Charizard or so that you can pull? This is pretty cool. I mean, Charizard is always a win in my book, eh? Not the Charizard you're chasing, but oh well. Let's go with the Mewtwo one. Let's see. The fairy is greeting us right here. Let's pull this out front. Hopefully it can focus. There you go. Let's do three, no, four to the front. And we have a Darkness Energy. We have another Magmar. Pretty small set from what I'm what I can see. We're getting a lot of repeats here of the commons at least. The fairy. We've got a Caterpie. We've got an Ekans. Paris. Charmander. Yo, here we go. This is the first normal shiny. Eddie Yancey. And Oh hey Zapdos. I always like this artwork. Is this by No, this is by by I thought this was by um by Akira Igawa, but it isn't. Uh, just for a second, that is a pretty cool Zapdos artwork. But here we go. A shiny Deancey. Yo, I like this. This is cool. This is super, super cool. Pretty sure there's like the, the Charmander and Charmeleon in here as well. Of course, if the Charizard GX is in here. Let's see what the last pack holds. Last pack for the second. The second tin. You go for the Coco, that's upside down. There you go, focused. And let's do three to the front this time. We'll, we're mixing it up. Fairy energy. Well, there goes the fairy energy. 
and focus on the Graveler. The Farfetch'd, this is a nice illustration, I like that Farfetch'd. Brock's Grit, Slowpoke, we've got a Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, we've got a Coughing, we've got a Reverse Farfetch'd, and a Kangaskhan, okay. Nothing in the last pack. So far, I mean, we did pull the Charizard GX. Maybe this one is leading, the Gyarados one. So let me just put this over here, so we can compare later on. And here we go, the last Hidden Fates tin. Man, so far though, this has been pretty fun. This has been pretty fun. Speaking of openings though, I'm still planning to, to open, I know it's a bit late, but I still plan to open the new Japanese set. Um, I will be opening Snow Hazard because, well, if you've looked at the prices recently, for Clayburst especially, that's like, that's beyond me. And I just want to open a new set, you know, just to see a few of the new cards, because we're gonna get them in English anyways in, in Padella, Padella Evolved in, um, in June, I think. So anyways, here's the code card for the tin, enjoy. And here is the Charizard promo. I actually, I had a bunch of these. I think I still have like two in my binder and then I have one graded, which is actually, which is actually going to be revealed in an upcoming video um, next week. So stay tuned for that. I spent a, a lot, a lot of money on different, different Pokemon cards. It's going to be awesome. Okay. So I think we're going to save the Mew one for last. So we're going to do it in, in this order. We're going to do the birds first and then move our way down. Come on. One more shiny GX card. That would be amazing. That would be pretty cool. At least one more. Or, you know, I'd also take the, the Cynthia. The Cynthia would be pretty cool. Here we go. Four to the front. And flip it around. We've got a Water Energy. We've got a Giovanni's Exile. That's pretty cool. Koga's Trap. Lieutenant Search. What's with the trainers? Three trainers in a row. Clefairy. Magikarp, Ekans looking at the rainbow. We've got Voltorb charging up again, Geodude. We've got a Reverse Lieutenant Surge. And we've got a Hollow Vaporeon. Nothing in the first one. Still have three left. Let's see. If any pack is going to give us a, an awesome pull, an amazing pull, it's going to be the Mew pack, I have a feeling. I do have a feeling. I mean, part of me kind of wants to keep the Mew pack sealed. But then again, I can always buy just a singular pack with Mew and keep it sealed. I might actually do that at some point. But for now, let's open them because opening cards is always pretty fun. And that's what they're made for, eh? At least that's how I see it. You know, I, of course I get the, the, the aspect of collecting sealed and so on, but... You know, they're made to be open, at least that's my my idea. Here we go, another GX. The Starmie GX. Our first pull of the Charizard GX tin. Amazing. Let's sleeve this up. So far, I actually don't know who's in the lead. I'd give it to the Gyarados because I think, or I know that Charizard cards always are, like, stupidly expensive, for the most part at least. Some of them are, but like, I mean, the majority probably is. Although, gold card? No, I think, hmm, it's gonna be interesting. I might put it on the screen at the, at the end of the video. Who, what tin won. Let's see, Sabrina's suggestion. We've got a Scyther. We've got a Chameleon. We've got a Jigglypuff. We've got an Ekans. A Coughing. We've got a Cubone, a Geodude, we've got, yo, we've got a Garchomp, this is cool, nice, okay, we've got a Garchomp, yo, okay, that's pretty cool, let's sleeve this one up, this one has a nick down there, oh, that's fine, let's sleeve, here we go, check this out, okay, the final pack of Hidden Fates, is this going to have a shiny GX card? Mm, I don't know. We pulled a shiny, so maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's open this very, very carefully. 
Let's do it like this. Yes. Here is the code card. Oh, it's upside down. Come on. Focus. There you go. There you go. Put the booster pack aside. I might actually keep the empty one. Just because there is Mew on it. You do know I like the Mew. Electric energy. Okay. Metapod. <laughs> you ready for this? If we're gonna pull anything great, it's gonna be in this pack. I have a feeling. Magmar. Slowpoke. We've got a Clefairy, we've got a Jigglypuff, we've got a Caterpie, we've got an Eevee, we've got no, no Shiny by the thing, by the looks of things, and a Jolteon, okay, we're finishing off with a Jolteon. That's okay though, we've still got some amazing pulls, so let's just summarize what we've gotten. So, let's start with the with the one that we've opened first, the Raichu GX tin. We of course have the promo. I will be counting this towards the the value or so so we can we can see who gave us the best value. We have an Ether Paradise Conservation Area. This is pretty cool in gold. We've also have a Mewtwo GX and we have a Drampa GX shiny. Those are some pretty legit pulls from the Raichu Raichu tin. The Gyarados tin unfortunately wasn't as good. We of course have the the Gyarados GX. We also have the Charizard because this might actually this might actually be what pulls it around, honestly. This Charizard. But we've also got a Diancy shiny. There we go. That was the the Gyarados tin, and here we have the Charizard tin. Of course, the promo. This one. This is probably the promo that's worth the most out of these. Then we have, of course, the Starmie GX. And we have the Garchomp shiny. This is really cool. I like I like Garchomp. So, who who do you reckon who do you reckon did or has the most value? Just put them like this to make it easy for for the editing me to put the prices below. And well, that is a surprise. And or I figured that one would win. You know, I have to cover both both things here. Well, but anyways, that was my birthday hidden fates opening. Um. Remember though, I do have a giveaway for three birthday Pikachu cards, you know, three different viewers can win these. So they go to three different viewers, just be subscribed, like the video and comment below your favorite pull out of this opening. Well, but anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Peace, peace, take care.